Well, hello, Bumblebees. Uh, thank you for being here today. Welcome to one more episode of my podcast slash YouTube. And um, this is Cafecito with Bibi. I am Bibi. So you might have think that I was not going to come back to this because I haven't recorded in a very, in a very while. But um, there's been some... Um, renovations at home so it's a mess i have no space to for me to actually bring quality on what i'm i'm teaching or what i'm sharing my thoughts and and basically this is my my way for um you know to also promote myself as a finance finance coach so um yeah i mean this is this is my this is my platform to share thoughts and uh, teach you and, and, and share all this so you can have knowledge of certain things, right? Especially money mindset. That, that is my big thing because it's something that I started working on and I I had so much like breakthroughs and a lot of um, understandings and, you know. But anyways, and this is my coffee for today so if you're listening on podcast you obviously not seeing me but um there's a link on the descriptions for the youtube if you want to actually see it so i'm gonna keep I'm, I'm gonna take a sip thank you starbucks and thank you to my friend rachel that sent me a gift card the other day for um valentine's day <laughs> so thank you so much for um both um so anyways um today episode actually i had this same um concept that i'm gonna bring to you today i had it on a live on my instagram but i figured that this is a good topic for me to share for my podcast so i'm gonna share it with you because um and i'm gonna give you a little bit of a backup story so basically um there's been renovations at home now because oh my gosh i want to renovate my home and this is gonna be so good and intentional no actually um my house is started literally falling apart and i've been forced to make those renovations so to fix those things but it's i'm talking about steering walls to fix them because it's something more deep um and also my car broke down <laughs> I had my card at the shop. So, so all these things are start happening. Actually, my son is start, uh, my youngest, nine years old, um, Dominic, he started asking, mom, why do we have so much luck, bad luck? And me being the mindset, holistic approach, finance coach that I am, I was about to throw myself in there some wisdom, words of wisdom to explain my son what was going on. And obviously, I also have an adult son that still is at home. And I'm guessing it's not for long, uh, something that it, he's been talking about it. But anyways, my adult son, uh, he is the type of, that, that doesn't, doesn't believe in making witches, doesn't believe in luck, good luck or bad luck. He just doesn't believe in luck. So technically, he just went to my son and said, well bad luck doesn't exist luck doesn't exist okay so this is nothing to do with luck and my youngest um he he has issues accepting other people's conversations and he throws a fist and it was a mess so anyways i'm like kind of like look at my son and i said okay let me let me talk to him okay so next time please might as well just tell him that Santa doesn't exist. <laughs> now I do, I, I do, um, I do share the Santa situation with my son in a different way as well. I'm, I'm not gonna talk about it today. Um, I'm, I'm gonna talk about it later, maybe in another episode. But anyways, so I kind of like told him that, and he also got mad. Well, it is what it is. Um, but. This is this is what I ended up ended up doing. So um, by the way, I'm parking here at Starbucks. 
so there's people like passing by and delivery oh no it's not mine not yours no <laughs> i'm sorry it's okay <laughs> i i'm literally gonna leave this in, in my in my podcast because this is this was so funny uh him saying and, and catching up on my <laughs> on my episode anyways um oh my gosh i'm gonna have to ask him if he's okay i'll put just a smiley face if it's okay for him to be on my on my videos i don't have time i i didn't even bring um because i have like um documents legal documents for people that appears that are not like in mutual uh, uh, like we don't have a mutual thing to appear in each other's uh, social media anyways back to the topic so these were my this was my words of inspiration to explain my son uh yes of course uh, this has nothing to do with uh good luck or bad luck um obviously um you know i've been i've been working in my mindset and i have been also very in in touch with the learning about manifesting and manifestation process and stuff like that so basically if something bad quote unquote is happening to you you will think that manifestation is not working for you that this and that but then manifestations coaches or experts will say well you know what the thing is that um anything that comes into your life you are actually manifesting it's just that it's in your subconscious and and blah blah so of course me learning this as well i came to another approach this is not bad luck this is not a bad manifestation uh gone wrong or nothing similar i really think that what is happening is that i'm in this process where my mindset is has reached to another level that is not in according to my actual reality so my mindset is literally expanding so i'm in this expansion life uh life and and because i'm expanding basically uh what life is doing or like my manifestations are doing is like pushing me to for me to actually be to the next level they're showing me this is this is not what you want you don't want this and now you've been you've been leading by intuition to get out of this situation and you're not doing it so now we're gonna push you to for you to do it so that is one approach but that is the way i'm seeing it and the way i'm seeing it is because a while ago i read this book about um how we are in our lives we are like a plant and we are in um we are in a pot right and we are a small tiny plant that we are in a pot so in order for the plant to be growing you have to feed the plant you have to put water um it has to have the right nutrients and you know uh and the and the soil and stuff and then sometimes because you are a plant the soil is not the right for you so you have to move to another soil so that's why some people move to different places or right um different cities or whatever or they, they even move from different social circles so they move from uh different uh different series different circles even social circles because that social circle no longer accommodates to their grow right um and that is very common for even life coaches if you hear them life coaches also um ask you to please um like like don't be around people that is not longer making you grow right so things like that so i feel that my pot is broken so my pot has broken and that's why it's like i'm not forced to change my pot so i can change to a different pot or in this case different uh, environment that i am r currently in order for me to continue to expand because i'm in this uh, expansion um uh, season of my life so um i feel that this is what is been happening because 
I have noticed that uh, the the things that I needed to fix in my house, it was a need and, well, not a need per se, but it was like, I should do this. And it's something that I need to do. And I keep continue things like, I don't have enough money, I can afford it, I can blah, blah. So now life is actually showing me that, yes, you do have the money to fix it. B-I-T-C-H. I'm trying not to say bad words, uh, but I'm not gonna call it bad words, curse words, because my kids listen sometimes to my podcast. And I'm I'm not gonna say that, oh, I'm a saint, I never say curse words, and all these people that say curse words, oh my gosh, what a shame. No, absolutely not. I am not that type of person, and I do say uh, curse words a lot. I'm just trying to be professional, to be honest. I'm just trying to bring quality as well uh, to my channel, trying to be professional. And But a uh, common uh, conversation normally does not go with curse words, but sometimes, especially if I'm mad, most likely there's going to be curse words as well. But anyways, back to I digress. Back to my pack of situation. So yes, I'm that plant that has been, my roots have been in expansion, my roots being my mindset, my subconscious. So now, literally life has shown me that, yes, I do have the money to fix not just my house, but my car, the things that I needed, like, you know, here and there. My car actually left me in the middle of the road, not in the middle of the road, but I almost didn't make it uh, to my house to drive it. It was this uh, wake up uh, call for me and like, oh my gosh, what is going on? My car is such a nice car. Why is that? And I always keep it. Uh, I do always uh, the, the maintenance in my car, like regular maintenance, not just so you'll change, but like, you know, all the things like whatever, like I'm always keeping a good maintenance in my car. So why this is going on? Once again, it's my mindset. I have been in the so my mindset my roots as a plant right my root my mindset has been changing has been switching so i'm in this expansion and this expansion has forced my life for me to actually move forward of course i have decided to put my house for sale i'm just trying to get all the repairs uh finished because like i said this was down uh there's some part of the roofs and my laundry room that are down that needs to be fixed it's gonna require painting blah blah i'm not gonna make bigger repairs in order for me to sell i actually lower the price of the house so i can actually sell it as it is instead and i know i'm not gonna make a lot of money like i did the first time that i sold my first home i made good money on it and i was very happy not this time, it's not gonna be a lot of money, but um, but I'm grateful. I really think that this is what I need. And I'm definitely uh, planning uh, for my life to move to a different environment to where I currently am for me to uh, to continue this expansion and this mindset that I'm having. But anyways, um, I hope you understand my, my metaphor <laughs> for expansion and plants even though i'm not a plant lady you know i have friends who are completely plant ladies and i i'm not but uh after i read that book it really helped me i'm gonna put the name of the book in the description if you would like to see it if i find it because i think i already packed my books um but anyways uh, i'm gonna put it on the description so if you want to see it and i also want to uh tell you that um Although my next episode is about vision boards and not just vision boards, but there's so many modalities on, on vision boards. I'm going to be bringing a little bit about it. I actually am running a free workshop for vision boards and you can totally sign up. Um, I know it's time right now it's, it's time, but I'm just trying to uh, put the information out there. So, um, we're going to start on April 1st and the signups starts on March 15th. But on top of uh, my vision board, also my uh, making money your best friend um, course, that, that is a course that is a
So that is uh, four models, of course, about money, making money your best friend. It's completely about money manifestation, introduction to manifestation. Um, I'm leading a lot into money mindset as well and the things that have been helping me, of course, for myself to expand. Um, if you if you get on the waiting list, you're going to receive a special offer only, only for the people that uh, receive the uh the wedding list through this channel or my podcast so make sure that um that you send me uh an email to hello at mindful tasks academy and said i listened the uh, the episode and put the name of the episode on on podcast or i watch it on youtube and um i i wanna um, i wanna get on the waiting list for making money your best friend uh, of course. So when you get that, I'm going to be sending you a, a, an offer, a really good offer for this program. Now, uh, the enrollment period is not going to start until March 21st, and we're going to kick until April 10th. So we're going to have like a, a window for uh, people that is going to enroll on the special offer, because I'm going to have a special offer publicly, but the people that sends me that email from this um this episode or this podcast this um youtube um video are gonna receive an extra bonus for for that as well like an extra bonus um offer and people that are on my on on my membership also are gonna receive another special offer so yeah i have different offers but anyways uh you can still get on the waiting list so um, just send me the, the message through this. Uh, hello at Mindful Tasks Academy. It's going to be on the description anyways. And visit the links that I'm going to be posting as well. So you can have more information about it. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to talk a little bit more about it in another episode, but um, just so, so you, just so you can have some information. But uh, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for um, listening to me, for watching me. Uh, thank you for being in Cafecito with Vivi. And once again, my name is Vivi. And remember, it's a Vivi thing. You wouldn't understand. Bye.